Greetings. Today we are going to learn about how to measure cylinder bores by using dial bore indicator. This is the instrument of dial bore indicator we used. This is the head part and this is the indicator. Here the uh, it shows the overview of head part. Head part has centering contacts. These two are the centering contacts and on measuring plunger. The centering contacts helps to keep the dial, dial bore indicator in horizontal manner and the overview of this indicator shows as like this. Here these are the divisions made on main scale and these are the another, another scale which we are used to calculate the revolutions of this main scale. Here this is the pointer and uh, 0 to 10 each po each reading has each each reading has 1 mm and this pointer rotates rotates through the help of through the help of measuring plunger this one division is equal to revolution of one revolution of the main scale that is here we here this scale uh, shows if if the scale shows one division then it that means that the main scale pointer rotates one revolution the least count of this main scale is 0 0.01 mm here next to uh, next this is the false and correct positions of the gauge head this is the correct position and this is the false position if we keep our gauge the, like this we cannot uh, get the correct results this is the correct position and though uh, we make any horizontal positions it is impossible to ensure a horizontal alignment of dial gauge manually there are three points to measure using bore gauge i mean there are three points to make sure of your measurement that is one First one is the more the gauge head is inclined, the smaller the displayed value. That is, if the inclination of the dial, ga dial gauge indicator is more, then the value in this readings is increases. Then next point, displayed value increases when you turn internal bore gauge to horizontal, like this. This bore gauge internal bore gauge this is called internal bore gauge and if we turn horizontal i mean uh, we can fix this in horizontal position then the value in this reading in this uh, indicator is increases the value in this indicator is increases if we if we cross at that horizontal position then the value in this indicator is decreases then the correct value of this indicator we know is how how we know to the correct value is the crossed position that is the maximum the maximum value of this indicator next here is the observation table serial number main scale readings dial indicator readings dial readings total readings dial reading means dial indicator readings into least count we know that least count is 0 0.01 mm and total readings is main scale reading minus dial indicator sorry dial readings in mm and the average gives the final answer for example we take a calculation like this main scale reading for example i took this calculation if you do the experiment there is one value uh, according to that bore that main scale reading is 31 mm and dial indicator reading is 1 mm that is it completes the one revolution and dial reading is equal to dial indicator reading into least count 1 into 0 0.01 mm that is, we know that least count is 0 0.01 mm and total reading is main scale reading minus dial readings that is 31 minus 0 0.01 mm 30.96 mm this is how to calculate a dia the diameter of the dial bore indicator by using sorry the diameter of cylinder by using dial bore indicator thank you guys thank you and we will meet on the next video thank you